Anastasia, Book 1, Chapter 11, Advice from Anastasia. The Seed as Physician. Anastasia stated, Every seed you plant contains within itself an enormous amount of information about the universe. Nothing made by human hands can compare with this information, either in size or accuracy. Through the help of these data, the seed knows the exact time down to the millisecond when it is to come alive, grow, what juices it is to take from the earth how to make use of the rays of the celestial bodies, the sun, moon, and stars. What is it to grow into? What fruit to bring forth? These fruits are designed to sustain man's life more powerful and effectively than any manufactured drugs of the present or future. These fruits are capable of counteracting and withstanding any disease of the human body. But to this end, the seed must know about the human condition. So that during the maturation process, it can, satu it can saturate its fruit with the right correlation of substance to heal a specific individual of his disease. If indeed he has it or is prone to it, in order for the seed of a cucumber, tomato, or any other plant grown in one's plot to have such information, the following steps are necessary. Before planting, put into your mouth one or more little seeds. Hold them in your mouth, under the tongue, for at least nine minutes. Then place the seed between the palms of your hands and hold it there for about 30 seconds. During this time, it is important that you be standing barefoot on the spot of earth where you will later be planting it. Open your hands and carefully raise the seed which you are holding to your mouth. Then blow on it lightly, warming it with your breath. And the wee little seed will know everything that is within you. Then you need to hold it with your hands Open another 30 sec seconds, presenting the seed to the celestial bodies, and the seed will determine the moment of its awakening. The planets will all help it and will give the sprouts the light. They need to produce fruit, especially for you. After that, you may plant the seed in the ground, and no case should you water it right off so as not to wash away the saliva, which is now covering it, along with other information about you that the seed will take in. It can be watered three days after planting. The planting must be done on days appropriate, appropriate to each vegetable. People already know this from the lunar calendar. In the absence of watering a premature planting, is not as harmful as an overdue planting. It's not a good idea to pull up all the weeds growing in the vicinity of the sprouts. At least one of each kind should be left in place. The weeds can be cut back. According to Anastasia, the seed is thus able to take in information about the person who plants it and then during the cultivation of its fruits, it will pick up from the universe and the earth the optimum blend of energies needed for a given man. 
the weed, the weed should not dispose off completely as, he, as they have their own appointed function. Some weeds serve to protect the plant from disease, while others give supplement, supplemental information. During the cultivation time, it is vital to communicate with the plant at least once during its growth period. And it is desirable to approach it and touch it during a full moon. Anastasia maintains that the fruit cultivated from the seed in this manner and consumed by the individual who cultivated is capable not only of curing him of any disease of the flesh whatsoever, but also of significantly retarding the aging process rescuing him from harmful habits, tremendously increasing his mental abilities, and giving him a sense of inner peace. The fruit will have the most effective influence when consumed no later than three days after harvesting. The above mentioned steps should be taken with a variety of plant species in the garden plot. It is not necessary to plant a whole roll of cucumbers, tomatoes, etc. In this manner, just a few plants each is enough. The fruit of plants grown like this will be distinguished from other plants of the same species, not only in taste. If analyzed, it will be seen that they are also distinct in terms of the substance they contain. When planting the seedings, it is important to soften the dirt in the excavated hole with one's fingers and bare toes and spit into the hole. Responding to my question, why the feet? Anastasia explained that through pers pers perspiration from one's feet comes substances, toxins no doubt, containing information about bodily disease. This information is taken in by the seedlings. They transmit it to the fruit, which will thus be enabled to counteract diseases. Anastasia recommend walking around the plot barefoot from time to time. What kind of plant should one cultivate? Anastasia replied. The same variety that exists in most garden plots is quite sufficient. Raspberries, currants, gooseberries, cucumbers, tomatoes, tomatoes, white strawberries, any kind of apple tree. Sweet or sour chow, cherries and flowers would be very good too. It does not make any difference how many plants of each kind there are or how big their area of cultivation is. There are a few definites. Without which, it, without which it would be difficult to imagine a full energy microclimate. One of them is sunflowers, at least one plant. There should also be one and a half or two square meters of cereal grains, rye or wheat, for example. And be sure to leave an island of at least two square meters for wild growing herbs ones that are not planted manually. If you have not left any of them growing around your dacha, you can bring in some turf from the forest and thereby create an island of natural growth. I ask Anastasia, if it were necessary to plant these definites directly in the plot, if there were already some wild growing herbs close by, say, just beyond the fence, and this is how she responded. It is not just a variety of plants that is significant, but, how, but also how they are planted, the direct communication with them that allows them to take in the information they need. I have already told you about one of the methods of planting. That is the basic one. The important thing is to infuse the little patch of nature surrounding you with information about yourself. Only then will the healing effect 
and the life-giving support of your body be significantly higher than from the fruit alone. Out in the natural wild, as you call them, and nature really is not wild, it is just unfamiliar to you, there are a great many plants that can help us cure all, and I mean all existing diseases. These plants have been designed for that purpose, but man has lost or almost lost the ability to identify them. I told Anastasia that we already have many specialists, pharma pharmacies, which deal in healing herbs, such as there are many physicians and medicine men who make a profession out of herb treatments. And she replied, the chief physician is your own body. Right from the start, it was endowed with the ability to know which herb should be used and when, how to eat and breathe. It is capable of warding off disease even before its outward manifestation. And nobody else can replace your body, for this is your personal physician, giving individually to you by God and personal only to you. I am telling you how to provide it with the opportunity to act beneficially on your behalf. If you make connection with the plants in your garden plot, they will take care of you and cure you. They will make the right diagnosis all by themselves and prepare the most effective medicine especially designed for you.